right, so included in your in your fairing kit is the extension wires. So if you are gonna do relocation of your lights, you have these extension wires. Um, really great, they come relocated left and right, and the reason why is that there are different connections for the right and left side. Uh, however, all of your blinker lights come in on the left side. So it comes down, if you're facing your bike, obviously this is the left, but it comes down from here. Now, keep in mind, facing your bike versus what is actually left and right is different. So on your bike, this is the left, this is the right. That's how you wanna do these cables um, because you do have them coming down from your hand controls as left and right. The reason why this is, this is great is twofold. Number one, you have these extensions that you can use if you're gonna relocate the, the, these blinkers, you can relocate down here. We, however, are not gonna do that. So I have uh, um, some other blinkers um, that we're gonna be installing in a few minutes. The smaller blinkers that go at the bottom down here that connect to the bracket that goes at the bottom of the fairing. So we're gonna have that, those lights are gonna be down here. We're also gonna be doing the hand guards. And so that has, uh, with the hand guard install, that has, um, these connections that you're going to need because you have the wires that run off of the handguard down to here and this is actually pigtailed so you go to your right and left right and left connectors and then you have the handguards will come in and the and the uh, blinkers down here so you're actually um, I'm actually going to be doubling the amount of signal lights that I have but they're going to be essentially in the same location so I'm going to have signal lights up here and signal lights down here and they will coordinate together so that's how um, that's how that part of it goes for the for the cords, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. All right, so the first part of this process uh, to put the new turn signals on is we have to take the old hand guards and the old um, lights completely off. And because we're doing uh, kind of a, a new, I, we're using we're using the Advan Black um, hand guards that have the integrated turn signals in them, and that means that these blinkers will go. And so they need to be disconnected. Everything essentially needs to be disconnected. So the mirror comes off, hand guards come off, blinkers come off. So we're gonna to get to kind of disassembling everything so that we can reassemble with the new pieces in just a few minutes. Again, this is not always why you put something on to protect your tank. <laughs> this is not um, this is not required or part of the required installation process for the fairing, but for um, for my purposes, we're doing it all we're doing it all at the same time. So again, part of the process that we're going to be doing is is that you can relocate these lights if you want to. Um, we're not actually relocating them. I'm going with a smaller version. Um, I bought the Advan black lights. That I'm going to be installing on the bracket down here, and they're a smaller version. I didn't think that I needed the larger style light in both locations since I'm gonna have two different areas for signaling in the front of my bike. They are all LED, so they should be plenty of bright when we're done. doing this part is that these hand bolts on your hand controls, um, and I don't know if it's like that at all of them, but I know specifically on the M8s, these bolts can strip out and they can break the housing pretty easily. Um, so you got to be real careful that they're tight enough, but they're not too tight that they're going to cause you any, any problems. So that's that's kind of one thing that you need to keep in mind when doing, when doing those. So we got the first one disconnected. So essentially all we did is we left the stock wiring in place, which you can actually do. Um, we disconnected it down here because I ran my wires through my bars when I redid my bars. 
So we essentially just disconnected it. So that wire is still a live wire. It's not, I'm sorry, it's not a live wire, but it's still a wire that goes through here. So if you wanted to go back to the other setup where you use these blinkers, you still could do that. You could put them back on there because the wires are still in the bars. They're just inside the hand controls now, and they'll be disconnected and kind of tied up in the wire, tidied up in the wires that are that are going to be um, in here. And so, um, if you ever wanted to go back to a setup where you utilize those, you could do that if you didn't want the the hand guards um, or you didn't want to utilize those hand guards. You could go back to the old setup the way that it was. And I actually kind of like that that I can go back and do that. So. Okay, so this side's a little bit different too because this is your this is your um, accelerator side. So one thing to keep in mind when you go back and retighten that is that um, there should be a, a little bit of play back and forth in this hand grip. So don't push it in and put it too tight that there's no play there. That play is what allows you that return of your of your accelerator. All right. So once you've got your uh, hand guards assembled, so this is the hand guard with the lighted section on the inside, okay? So um, this, the lighted section of these hand guards is actually separate from the actual paint match hand guards themselves. So Advan Black sells the paint match hand guards. Bob, can you hand me one of those rubber grommets? So the hand guards themselves come with these rubber grommets. They're, that's essentially what they look like, okay? So you take the rubber grommets out and then um, this has 3M tape on it, so this is the lighting feature on these hand guards. So this will essentially become my new uh, blinker package on the front. So not only will I have hand guards, I'll have hand guards that have integrated blinkers in them. So you just rub the back of this, um, you clean it with alcohol, you rub the back of it um, like you would any other 3M tape, and then that tapes right in. It's pretty self-explanatory because they can only go one way. These rubber grommets get removed and, and the lighting is now integrated in here. So you have this wiring that goes with these lights and it actually goes to the wiring that we already connected earlier um, that you saw when we, were, when we were tidying up the wires. So this will go down, we will snake it down through and, be, and this will all be tidied up with the wires in the inside. Um, one of the things that, that we decided to do when we were doing this install is we're gonna put the nacelle back on the bike. So rather than having some of this wiring being uh, connected to the inside of your fairing, it's all gonna be tidied up at the inside of the nacelle. So you won't see any of that wiring that you may, that you may have seen before. So we're gonna go ahead and get these installed on here. And uh, it, it goes on essentially just like the other ones came off. So you saw we took, took and disconnected the other blinkers. These are gonna go on with, these, uh, with the nuts right on here. And uh, um, we'll have essentially just need to snake the wiring down, get it all tightened up, and, and the install for these are done. These are, are really simple. Um, you just have to make sure that you have all of your wiring connected to the right side and the left side correctly. If you don't, they're gonna blink their own way. Um, the other thing too to keep in mind is that when you order the lighting kit, it comes with some extra, um, wiring harnesses, so if you're splitting them off, you can use those. So, um, like I said before, I left my wires in there. They're disconnected. They'll be tightened up to the wires, so you can go back and reconnect them if you want. But other than that, we'll just be running the wires right down here. It's gonna be a really slick setup because I'd be able to go back to the other ones if I really wanted to at some point. Now, the other thing too is that these hand guards, you'll notice, are, um, are fairly large in size. So they are gonna provide a significant amount of protection and also um, with the lighting integration, um, they're, just gonna, they're just gonna look really slick. The, the other cool thing is, is that the way these are, where these are located, these are still gonna be very visible even if you got a taller shield on your fairing. So even if you got the, the tallest shield that any company makes, it's still gonna be, these are still gonna be very visible. Now with these lights up here and the other smaller lights that you'll see us installing in a few minutes down here, um, you're not gonna be able to miss me when I'm making a corner, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this installed. All right, so um, we, <laughs> we pause for a second because actually mounting these is, it, it's not difficult, it just takes a little bit of effort to get it exactly the way that you want it. 
And um, so because your mirror goes through the top of the bracket on these, and, and then they, they tighten at the bottom, both the handguard and the mirror can move kind of at the same time. So it's just really important that you kind of take your time in getting those. It took us a minute to get them kind of adjusted. So that's what we did. But what I want to do is I want to show you guys kind of the end result. Again, we don't have any of the wires buttoned up. All we essentially did was get it all connected and wired up and connected to the correct connectors on the bike, right side, left side. So I'm just gonna turn it on and just give you guys a, a, a show preview of what it looks like. So there's running lights, which I think are amazing and look great. And then I'll just give you kind of a preview and that's what it looks like. It's a, you know, the blinker that, that goes uh, from the inside out. And so uh, really, really, you know, nice look. Um, your hazards, you know, does the, does the whole thing with hazards and everything. So really cool, really cool look. Nice, bright running lights. Um, looks great. So we're going to keep on. Right now what we're doing is we're just buttoning up the cords so that they follow the uh, brake line and the, um, I'm sorry, the, yeah, it's the, the front brake and the master cylinder for the clutch. So... Um, you get those kind of nice and nice and tightened up on there and they'll follow that all, follow that cord all the way down um, and then it just kind of keeps it nice and hidden for me. Okay, so the other lights that we're going to be installing are these smaller bullet style lights and these are also um, by Advan Black. Um, if you go into the lighting section when you go and order these, you actually can't find these. What you have to do is go into the ST fairing and you can add these to your cart from there. Again, they're, they're just a, a smaller bullet style light. It's an LED style light, and they're gonna go down on the mounting bracket that's down at the bottom, down here, right by the crash bar. And so those, th there's actually a nice little spot for them to be, th that's machined into these mounting brackets. So they'll be mounted down there. The wires, again, will be tucked right up underneath there. Just a very cool, just a very cool little light um, and, and really the only reason why I added these is that I didn't, I still wanted to have hand guards and I wasn't really wanting to completely replace um, my, my signal lights with these small ones. And so it's just a little bit of uh, additional lighting that I'm adding to the motorcycle. So um, I'm, I'm, we're just gonna get kind of these cords and everything kind of buttoned up and then we'll be um, putting these lights on. So again, the install for these, super, super easy. I'll kind of show you. So you just pull back the little rubber grommet and there's just a little bolt here. That bolt's gonna go right in the side of that hole that the cord goes up. There's a slot machined in there. So the cord will go right in the slot that's machined. You bolt this on tight. We'll kind of get them, tip them in the right direction so that they're pointing the right way. Then this rubber grommet slides right over top of that bolt. And then this plugs into the pigtail that we already have the lights connected to on the hand guards. So really super clean, gonna look really great and, and a very easy install once you've got those uh, hand guards and everything in. These again, rubber grommet, little bolt, and they're gonna slide right on. So super bolt on process. So I'm gonna get to installing these lights on there while Bob continues to uh, go ahead and uh, kind of tidy up those cords. When you're tightening everything up and buttoning it all up. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's that's super clean. That's super clean. I, I love it. I love it. Exactly. Look at that. Yeah. And again, once you've once you've got that, there's just the pigtail here, and it just connects right into the pigtail. So snaps right in. Once you hear that snap, you're in there. So. Again, these are, this is just where all the lighting is here. So again, all of this is gonna go up inside, be buttoned up, look real, look really nice. All right. Yeah. Should we test these out now too? All right, moment of truth. We're gonna test this, this, these lights out now too. Yeah, good? 
Okay, here, I'm gonna step back. I just wanna take a look at them too. Go ahead. Wow. <laughs> Bright for as little as they are. Yeah, they are. Wow, perfectly in sync too. And bright white. Looks great. So, love it. Well, there you go. The install of um, the small relocatable lights by Advan Black. Again, you can get those. Um, where I found them at was when you go in to order the ST Ferry, that's an, an add on. Uh, I, I don't want to quote you on a price because I, I, I don't remember what I paid for them, but it's an add on at, through um, the ordering of the ST Ferry. And I personally think that that's absolutely the way to go. You could relocate your your regular lights um, and have the much larger lights down there if you wanted, but I think for just, I mean, for what you get, and it's such a clean look, I really like the way that those lights look at the bottom down there, uh, the bottom of that ferry. It's not obtrusive, it doesn't take away from the look of it at all, and they were super bright. And having them all wired together like that, they all blink together, um, they signal together, just just a really, really nice looking, um, nice look for that.